Hey guys, this is um, a new YouTube channel for me, and I'm going to be doing this YouTube channel with a few other of my friends, but here I am today to show you guys how to make a Tekkit server and for single player Tekkit, because we're going to be doing a lot of Tekkit on our new um, channel, okay? So to get started, you're going to need this file, and I put the, um, the URL for the file in the description below so you guys can check that out and um, it already has everything set up basically so um, it has start command set up and everything and uh, so that's how you're gonna need to open your server every time for your friends um, so to get started you're gonna have to um, uh, you're gonna have to unzip the file I already actually did that for you um, which you have to open the file with an unarchiver on a Mac and this is a Mac tutorial of course so if you don't already have um, an archiver you need to download that so you can open the zip file and then once you open the zip file you'll have this file right here so um, once you have that you're almost done really you just have to um, uh, <clears throat> you just have to uh, get the start command working and authorize it so to do that um, you're gonna need to open up terminal and if you don't have that you're also gonna have to download that but I think most Macs start with it so just type it up in spotlight up here type in terminal and you get terminal okay and then it should uh, load some stuff up yep it loads that for me and it should load different stuff for everybody else so what you want to type in is ch mod space. You have to remember these spaces or it will not work. A plus X space. You need that last space as well or this will not work. You have to remember that, okay? And then click enter. And then all this junk comes up. And I already have a tech server, so this is, um, it's going to say uh, there's a server already running on the port. So I'm not gonna be able to open it for you, I don't believe. Um, but it's 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 okay. So then, what you need to do is you need to take the start command from here and drag it on in there, and then you uh, put this uh, window up and you click Enter again, and it should load in a second. Here we go. Okay, and this is um, a lot of stuff will come up. Uh, my computer is slow right now because I have a bunch of windows open. Yeah, you see, um, oh, it's working. That's good. Okay, so it is loading up my server. It is putting all the necessary files in my file folder. And then um, it is preparing the spawn for me. So you just have to wait for this to load up. And then once you do that, once this is loaded, it'll say done. And then we can go on to the next part. <laughs> and you also guys um also you had to get the Tekken launcher after this so you can play um you can play it single player and you can play uh you can play it uh multiplayer as well with the server and guys this is a new youtube channel so i i want you guys to check out my other videos i can do more tutorial videos if you guys want you can send me a message if something isn't working in this video and um uh yeah and so okay it's done there we go so once it's done you can just click stop not stop stop and then it, you have to do that every time you're ending your server or something might get um, erased or messed up so once it stops it says saving chunks and then it should say process complete in a second but I don't really want to wait so I'm just gonna X that out oh well okay once that is done you'll have all of these new files in here like your world file you can substitute that for any other world you already want. Um, I don't think you can do it from another um, Tekkit version, though. And then once you do that, um, you need to enter your IP in here. <coughs> okay, so you need text edit, and you need to open that up. The server.properties, so open. Um, and then here we go. This is where you can edit everything you want. So you can change your PvP on true or false. Um, 
spawn animals. Um, if you want your th your game to run a lot quicker, you can change that to a lot less. You can unlock that before you change anything. So I'd like to put it at 8. I don't ever have 8 people on anyways, but oh well. You can take off monsters, and I like taking off monsters and tech it. Anyways, and you can also enter a seed in here if you already, but it already generated a world, so. And if you're, um, if you want to change the world, you just, and you just put a, a substitute, a file in there, and then you have to change the name up here of that file you have substituted. But now you need to put in the IP. And for me, I find my IP by going to the Apple up here on a Mac, and you go to About This Mac. And, no, not about this Mac, I mean, um, no, 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 what am I thinking? You have to go to System Preferences, which is, um, that a symbol right down there. And then it should go to Network. And here's my IP right here. Don't use that last period, that will mess everything up. And you take that IP, and you're going to type it in right here. So, 10.0.1.8. And there's my IP. So then you have to go up um, on text edit and on file. You click save a version and then you can X that out. Now your server will run for you. It will not work for your friends. I tried this many times and I got frustrated and I figured out how to do it. Um, and also if you have wine, which um, is a, it's a file or a program that changes PC files to Mac. Um, that will uh, mess up one of your, it'll mess up the launch.bat file, which will mess everything up. So, you don't want wine, you can just throw it away in your trash can and empty your trash can. <laughs> okay, and now, um, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make it so it actually works for your friends, too. Because they can't use that um, IP, because that's the internal IP. So, let's go, okay. Here is where I'm going to be sending you to get that file, um, and then you can use that file. Okay, um, so there is actually the URL, but I'll have that in the description. So you want to type in in your browser, um, port map, and I think this is it. Is it? Yes, this is it. So this is what you want to download. It looks like this when you have it open. Um, just click download the application. Um, yeah. So once you download that, I'll just X that out. Um, I'll just get mine out. Um, you type in port map, um, and you get your port map out. And this is what it's going to look like. You have to make sure it's on, and it shows your internal IP right up here, actually. And if it has that IP, then you're going good. You have to give your friends this IP. They log in with this IP. This is the external IP. That's the internal IP. So you want to use this IP. And you have to have this this port map open while the server is running. Okay, so to show you this is working, my server is working, I will, um, I'll just go ahead and go on it. Actually, no, no, I need to show you how to get the, um, Minecraft, oh, here's my channel, you guys. Check that out, I just made that new background and I made that new icon, it's pretty cool. So check out my channel for new TechIt videos. I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to use TechIt. I am figured everything out now. So what do you want? To, what do you want to do is to download um, TechIt 3.0. So just type TechIt 3.0.4 up there and click right here. And then you want to scroll down. Okay, here it is. The launcher. So, um, if you have a Mac, you're going to want to download this one. If you have a PC, you want to download that one. And anything else, I think you use the jar. And so, what it looks like when you open it up, it's really simple. You just click on it. So, I'll go to my downloads, to my downloads. Right here, this is the icon that it looks like. Click on that. And it might be kind of slow because I am recording right now, obviously. Um... This is not that complicated. There's only like three steps if you want to be playing with your friends. Um, I'm just making sure you guys don't mess up right here. So, once you do this, um, that they, they comes up with the loading thing. It should say Technic or Tech It right across here. Yeah, Tech It Launcher. 
Technic Launcher. And this is partly devised by the Yogg's cast, I think, because if you drag down this, it has the Yogg box right there. Tech it. Um, Hack Slash Mine. Oh, I didn't even know it had that. So you can play Hack Slash Mine and Vanilla. So that is pretty... And Technic. Technic is pretty cool because it actually does have Mo creatures, and it can have more mods because it's not multiplayer. So, but I want it on Tech it right now. So I need to open up the server. Where is that file? Oh, here it is. Wait, no. I want the other one. Oops, it's right here. So you don't actually need to open Minecraft for this. It automatically does it for you. So I'll open that. And then I'll set up. Okay. <clears throat> I believe it should be the same world because it's the same IP. For me, because they're both running on the same internal IP. Yeah, I think so. And this takes a little minute to load, actually. If you have a white screen and it's stuck like that for a long, long time, there's something wrong. It, and you also need Java 7 to do this. So, you, so if you don't have Lion or Above, you can't actually do this. Um, let's go to Multiplayer right here. And hmm. Oh, it's not okay. Is it done? Yeah. We'll see if it's done now. Yep. Here we go. And that worked. Okay. See, it says on the server log that I just um, got in. Um. Yeah, it's really laggy right now, so I don't know if it's gonna start. But you guys saw that it was up and running. And if you're not recording. This should be a lot quicker. Okay, guys. Um, so you can also check out my other channel. It's Toby Dog Guy. But this one, my new one is Madcraft times 3. And here is Tech It. So Ray's minimap is a um, minimap mod that is in part of this. Um, it's just really laggy right now. And I am in a new amazing world. See, there's the minimap up there. So this is going to be really slow right now. but Because I'm recording, but... Anyways, you guys see that it's, uh, that it's Tech It, because you have a minimap, obviously. And if I press E, I'll prove to you it's Tech It. If I can, press E. Press E. Uh, I can't move. Oh, there we go. Okay, so to prove to you, I have too many mods automatically on, and all this crazy junk. So, guys, this was, um, this was RJ. From Mad Crafted, um, you guys are going to be able to see my friends in some new videos, but not just yet. Um, this is what I like to do. Play Minecraft, I'll play some Realm of the Mad Gods, and whatever else you want us to play. You should see our other video. Well, um, We're going to be playing Slenderman too. That is a hilarious game. It is very scary, though. <laughs> um, so you guys can tune in for my next videos. I'll be doing some more tutorials. But if you want to learn how to do Tech It, it is very complicated. With all that Clue and Exchange and Tech It and Build Craft, tune into my ch channel and you'll know how to do everything. Okay? So, um, I'll leave you guys there and I will see you guys later. Bye.